All right, buckle up folks, because we're diving into a story that sounds like it's straight out of a wacky Saturday morning cartoon, except it's all happening in real life on the tropical island of Marajo, Brazil. Picture this, the local police force doesn't patrol in cars or on motorcycles. Nope, that's too mainstream. These officers saddle up on massive 1,800-pound water buffaloes complete with horns that could give you a new hairstyle. Imagine a cop show but with less, vroom vroom, and more, moo moo. Now, Brazil's military police are known for being tough cookies, but Marajo Island's battalion takes the cake, or should we say, the grass? These buffaloes aren't just any ordinary farm animals. They're crime-fighting beasts that can trek through mud flats and swim through swamps to catch the bad guys. Sergeant Ronaldo Souza puts it simply, can't reach a place by bike or boat. No problemo, amigo. Hop on a buffalo. In Sour, a town where the population is outnumbered by these horned behemoths, the sight of officers in bulletproof vests riding downtown is enough to make any petty thief think twice. Locals boast about wearing their watches in public without fear, a rare luxury in Brazil, thanks to their buffalo-mounted police. But how did these Asian natives end up in Brazil, you ask? Legend has it, they're the descendants of some Houdini buffaloes that swam ashore from a shipwreck in the 19th century. Fast forward to today, and these buffaloes are not just police mounts, they're the Swiss army knife of the island, acting as taxis, garbage trucks, and even producing award-winning cheese and ice cream. Yes, buffalo ice cream is a thing, and apparently, it's delicious. The islanders' love for their buffaloes runs deep, with the most beloved ones becoming social media stars. Tourists flock to swim with these gentle giants, and let's be honest, who wouldn't want to float around on a buffalo at the beach? Now, let's talk about the police force's decision to use buffaloes. Back in the 90s, resources were scarce, and someone had the bright idea, why not use buffaloes? And thus, the Buffalo Patrol was born. They even have a giant mosaic of a red-eyed buffalo wielding a gun. Talk about taking badass to a whole new level. But here's the kicker, there's not much crime to fight on Mirajo. The island practically takes a siesta from noon to 3 p.m., and the last major incident was breaking up a domestic squabble. The real threat? Buffalo thieves. Yes, the most coveted item to steal on the island is, ironically, the very creature helping to fight crime. The officers spend their days not just patrolling, but also acting as buffalo caretakers, pampering their partners with coconut soap and mangoes. It's clear that on Mirajo, the buffaloes are the real MVPs, with humans happily playing supporting roles in their lives. And for those who still think this is all made up, just ask Marcio Alves, who spends his afternoons herding his buffaloes, Lord, Goat, and Blackie, through the streets. He swears they're smarter than most people and honestly, given how they've managed to become the heart and soul of an entire community, who's to argue? So there you have it, folks, the tale of Mirajo Island, where buffaloes wear the badge, and the police ride into the sunset on their backs, probably while the buffalo soldier tune plays in the background, just not the Bob Marley version.